Hey everybody, welcome to the show. And what I've got for you today is I have got a battle between my favorite under $100 photochromatic riding glasses, the Tafasi Seek versus the upstart Outdoorsy Rock Bros. If you wanna see who's gonna take the crown of the best under $100 photochromatic sunglasses, stay right here and I will let you know what I found out in all of my testing. But if this is the first time you've been to my channel, make sure you go down below, you hit subscribe, you ring the bell, leave me a comment and a thumbs up if you like the video at the end. Let's get ready to battle! So welcome back, and this is how we're gonna play this game. It's gonna be six rounds, one point per round for we'll see who takes the title. What are our rounds gonna be? Round number one, when you get your box, what do you get in the box? Round number two is gonna be a science test. How well does the photochromatic work? Road three, road bike. Road four, run. Road, round five is going to be aero bike. And round six, pricing and availability. So if you're ready to go, Let's ring the bell and start this battle. So when you open your package, you see just about the same items in each uh, one of the companies. You get the holder for the glasses, you get the microfiber towel, the glasses themselves, of course, and the hard case. Uh, I like the hard case that comes with the outdoorsy glasses better because it is a larger, harder case and it's got this cool little hanger on it that you can use to hang it on the outside of your transition bag. The other item that's unique is you get the uh, nearsighted lenses that you can have lenses made and put inside so it'll fit and snaps right inside your sunglasses. It makes it nice for the people who have vision issues. Well, that's what you get. Now on to round two. So round one is over and we have got a close one going on. There's a few good blows thrown by the challenger and maybe took that round just by a hair. Now on to round two to see our science take place. We're gonna watch the photochromatic change from light to dark, see how that does. On to round two. Okay, folks, so now it's science time. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Tafasi Seek versus the uh, outdoorsy rock bros and in the background you see my very very expensive pair of prescription sunglasses which I use every sun use every single day I'm using those as a as a control and a clock and then we're gonna use a very very scientific piece of equipment called a box and what we're gonna do here is we're going to drop the box right now on top of the sunglasses and so they go into total complete darkness for 30 seconds All right, here we go. So we're now at 24, 28, 29, and 30 seconds. And we're gonna take a look at how dark the lens has gotten, 30 seconds. And we're gonna watch each one of the three and see which one goes dark the best. So they should be brightening up right now. It's at 45 seconds. Three, two, one, go. And there's what we got. And we're gonna take a look with this bright sunshine we're at and see which one darkens up the quickest. And as we see, we're at 15 seconds. In. Four, three, two, one. There we go, one minute in, and it looks like the Rock Bros has gotten the darkest, and kind of maybe the prescription are in second in the Chafasi, uh, not quite dark as they should be as, as far as I'm concerned in that length of time. So there we go, that's what we did for our scientific control. And again, it looks like we have an unexpected leader. Now, end of round two, we saw the challenger come out hitting hard with a wider range of dark to light and a much faster changeover. That was a tough round for the champ. Now, on to the field test. Our road bike. We're going to head out on the road on round number three. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to be going with our first control ride here it's going to be on a road bike uh, you see right there my got my road bike ready to go this ride is going to be a 
40 mile ride where I'm going to ride outdoorsy glasses and the second 20 miles I'm gonna ride with the Tafasi. It is a bright sunny day with some high clouds uh, which will give a couple times going through some shade and allow the photochromatics to kick in. Uh, we're gonna be testing for how much air gets through. I do wear contact lenses, or how much air goes around, gets in my eyes, how, it, how they sound, how the sound comes off the corners of the glasses, and how the photochromatic works, and how they feel on my face. So that is gonna be the first uh, control test. All right, here we go. I think they look pretty good. What do you think? Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're at mile 20 of the 40 mile bike ride, and I've worn the, uh, the outdoorsy glasses. I've really kind of tell you, I'm kind of impressed so far. But now we got to bring up the champ. We'll take these off, and we are going to switch over from our outdoorsies to my uh, all time champion. The Tafossies. Here we go. Put them on. Take a look at what we got. And we're off for the second 20 miles of our trip. As you can see, I'm going through a few places where there's some shade and some bright sunlight. Having some fun with these. Uh, really, really, really windy as you can hear. Right on the island, right by the beach, right there. Just the beach. Putting these sunglasses through the test, that's for sure. This is over, road bike, battling out between the Tafasi sunglasses, the champ, and the outdoorsy, the uh, contender for photochromatic sunglasses. Uh, on the run, we're gonna test to see how they fit and how they work on the run. But I gotta tell you, it's a beautiful day for uh, riding a bike. Really surprising, surprising results. Round three is over, and we see a surprising challenger really coming on strong. It's not looking good for the champ right now, but round four, the run is up right now. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna go on a run. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny day here in Florida. It's cool out, and we're gonna do, the control on this is gonna be a seven to eight mile run. I'm gonna run the first half with the Tafasi, the second half with the, uh, with the outdoorsy and see how that goes. Okay, so here we go. We're about four miles into the run. I've uh, been running with the Trafossies on and uh, they are my go-to, so I know how they felt. I know what they're doing. And it's time now to do the switch out over to the, to the outdoorsies and we're ready to finish off our run. Got done running with uh, the Fossies right here and the Outdoorsies. And again, really, really, really surprised at the results. You're gonna see the results uh, coming up. I'm gonna have a recap right after we just finish up. Round four is over. Again, we see the Challenger with a little bit of muscle out there, really taking that round again and putting the champ on the ropes. Can the champ come out of this thing in round five or round six with a knockout and take this thing back out? But I got to tell you, round five was a great aero bike test. It did it at Benderson Park, my favorite place to, to train. During my triple brick, which you can see right here if you want to find out what a triple brick is, check that out. But during that event, the Challenger, again, rode just as good on the aero bike as it did on the road bike. I did get to switch back and forth on the run and the bike really got a good test. And that Challenger has really put it to the champ. On to round six, where we're gonna see if the champ can pull it out in price and availability. Okay, so the battle continues between the Tafasi Seek and the rock bros from the outdoorsy company and now we're getting into something really really important that most people want to know is how much is the seek and where can i get it and how much is the rock bros and where can i get that so we're going to go with the tafasi first seeing as they're the champion going in, in here we're going to find the tafasi i looked up uh in many different places and i found this particular sunglass available from 
$48.96 up to $69.95 on Amazon. I also found them at my local Play Try store for $69.95. My team gets a discount there. Now, the Outdoorsy, on the other hand, is not quite as easy a deal. What you're going to find with the Rock Bros is the only place you're going to find this is at theoutdoorsy.com. Uh, how much are they? Pricing's a little confusing. Uh, you're going to find out that this Canadian company prices everything in euros and that fluctuates on a day-to-day -day basis. But today, when I looked it up, these were $72. Now, I reached out to the company. I, I talked to someone there about the uh, issue with the pricing and they're working on getting the pricing set at American so that it stays constant and steady all the time that's coming. But what they did do for you guys, uh, because I paid full price for it, they've given a 30% discount code. You'll find that in the description below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe because we're going to be doing a bunch of these little battles. So there you go to Fossey Seek. $48 to $69.95, very easy to find. Outdoorsy Rock Bros, little harder to find, only one place where you can get those and a fluctuating price scale, but still very close in price across the board. So there you have it. After six rounds of battle, we have got us a winner. Here we go. So what you get? Now round one. The Rock Bros takes a little bit of a lead on here. I like the case a little better. The little added glasses inside. You'll find out what that's all about on their website. Round two, the science test. Hey, when I take a look at that science test, the Rock Bros takes it by a bunch. That was a knockout round almost. Yeah, the, the Trafossi Seek are good, but the speed of the uh, photochromatic, the depth of the pho photochromatic, and especially the fact that it goes all the way to zero uh, clear gives you the opportunity to just ride with one pair of sunglasses if you start in the dark and ride into the light. So round two goes to the Rock Bros. Road bike test, round three. You saw it. You saw my commentary there. Round three, very surprising, goes to the Rock Bros. Then the run thought again that the small size of, of the seek are going to help them out. But no, they bounce a little bit. Winner again goes to Rock Bros. Got to have the, the idea of you can wear them at the dark all the way into the light. Do that quite often running in the summertime. Arrow bike. I didn't have any sound on that one. I had a problem with the video, but I did do the whole test. And again, it goes to the Rock Bros. Price and availability. Oh, uh, well, you know, to come back, they, he tried. The, the Seek wins the round, but the winner overall is the Rock Bros. This right here from Outdoorsy. You can find the link down below to their site. I also have, as the winner, a 30% off discount code down below in the description right here on the screen. Great sunglasses. I'll be wearing these on all of my adventures coming up in the future. There you go. The winner is the Rock Bros. So if you like the content, go down below, subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up, jscoachingsystems.com. JS Coaching Systems on Facebook, JS Coaching underscore systems on Instagram. This is Coach John, and I'm out.